Okay, so this is getting interesting. Um, there's a beach that I want to reach and I just checked on Google Maps if I am on the right road. And yeah, it doesn't look that far on Google Maps, but uh, Google Maps told me it takes almost an hour to reach the beach. And I was wondering why does it take an hour? It doesn't look that far. But uh, maybe it's because of the condition of the road. Seems to uh, to get off-road here now. Um, yeah, but this is the only road leading towards that uh, area of the island. So I would say, uh, okay, let's leave the main road, the proper road, and enter the off-road area. Yeah, shouldn't be uh, too big of a problem unless the roads get significantly worse in the next minutes. So far, it looks okay, actually. Oh, just as I'm saying that, the holes are getting bigger. Okay, let's see how worse the condition will get and how long I actually need to reach that beach. Definitely more interesting than the main road, I can say that. Okay, quick update after a few minutes. The road uh, is just uh, sand uh, by now. But it is quiet here, quiet and beautiful. Maybe I can show you the road condition here a little bit. We're just uh, yeah, riding on sand here at the moment. So. <laughs> Actually, it gets a little bit better here now. Like this. What's that? I heard something. Okay. You hear that? It didn't sound good. Maybe I should uh, check it. What was that? I'm not sure if you could hear that on camera, but it sounded like something is stuck um, at the tire in between here. Oh, but it looks all good. Oh, and there's a huge end here. Maybe let me double check Google Maps again. Um, I also have no signal at the moment, so I can't really get directions at the moment. But uh, yeah, it's the only road leading to a beach called Starfish Beach. Oh, it says 44 minutes for just 13 kilometer. So I would guess the road condition will get even worse. But let's see. Okay, so this is like a proper forest or jungle. I mean, the road is okay. Can't really drive that fast. Oh, there's a tree that fell down. Yeah, I think I should just start to trust Google Maps more. <laughs> Google Maps tells me it takes almost an hour to drive this road to the destination. And I was like, oh, no way. It looks so near, so close by. How can it be an hour? Well, this is the reason why. So what did we learn today? Never doubt Google Maps. Usually they are quite correct with the distances and the time it takes to drive the distances. It is pretty quiet here and it's been a while since I have seen another human being. In fact, I haven't seen a single other human being on this road. And I think I hear some animals. Not sure if they have monkeys here. I haven't seen any monkeys yet. Mm. Yeah. Uh, not sure what to think of this. I mean, imagine if I would have an accident here now or something would happen and I'm in the middle of nowhere. I have no phone signal. I have no data uh, on my phone, mobile data. So I'm just hoping that everything will be all right. Yeah, it's not my, my first time driving a motorbike somewhere off the beaten path in Southeast Asia. If you are a follower for, for a while, you probably saw me doing similar adventures in other countries. But yeah, often when I take these off the beaten path, it turns out to be something special, you know? Or I see something that I otherwise wouldn't have seen, something interesting, something unique. 
just uh, you have to take your time. patience like I'm driving really slow in fact so slow that it's showing zero but uh, yeah it's like uh, I don't know like 10 kilometers per hour currently at the moment you can't really drive faster here than that okay I almost can't believe it there is a bus going on this road okay maybe I should give the bus some way wow <laughs> Good luck with a bus on this road here. Oh, hello, Xin Chao. Full with tourists sitting in an air conditioned bus. Oh. oh, and I'm not the only motorbike driving here, and there's another one coming from behind. So that uh, makes me feel a little bit better that I'm not the only person actually driving on this road. Wow. This is a huge hole here. Uh, almost have to walk through it. <laughs> wow. This is like the worst part of the road. Check it out. Just had to cross through there. Hello. <laughs> All the locals are surprised to see to see me here. Hello. How's the road condition over there? Oh. Yeah, genau. Also, ich bin auch schon eine halbe Stunde auf dieser Straße. Ja, okay. Okay. Und die erste links, das siehst du dann schon, sind ein paar Schilder. Ja, he was a fellow German guy. And yeah, he just told me that uh, yeah, the road condition is not getting better. It uh, continues to be like this for, he said, another 20 minutes or so. Okay, I am on this road for over an hour now. And yeah, it gets a little bit boring now, annoying, <laughs> because yeah, you have to be really concentrated to, to drive on a road like this. I mean, here it's getting a little bit better now, but um, yeah, basically the, the last hour, I can only drive maximum 15, 20 kilometers an hour. You have to be really careful because some of the holes are really that deep that they can be really harmful to your bike, you know? Google Maps check again but yeah we are getting closer so there should be a left turn very soon all right after one hour there is a proper road here again oh you can't believe how happy I am to see this road oh, <laughs> oh that feels good finally yeah over one hour Well, that was a tough ride. Yeah, like one hour, 20 minutes now on, on this road. Yeah, what did we learn? Trust Google Maps if they tell you it's an hour to ride this road. It is an hour at least, or in this case it was even longer. And yeah, I would say like if you are an unexperienced motorbike rider and you are alone, probably it's best to avoid roads like this. If something happens and you have no phone signal, that makes it even worse. Um, yeah might be not a good idea but uh, yeah if you are experienced on the on the bikes then uh, it should be okay but otherwise uh, avoid roads like this okay the reason why I want to come to this beach is because it's called starfish beach and apparently you can see lots of these uh, starfish right here at the beach so I'm quite curious for that let's see if that is really the case or if we just drove over an hour on this road for nothing well won't be for nothing because I think there's a beautiful beach here at least okay so first impressions the beach does look quite nice the sand is a uh, really really good quality I can see that right away although the water is not this typical tropical blue crystal clear water but to be honest I'm uh, I would rather get excited now to find something cool to drink because I'm very thirsty so I hope we can find something over there. Uh, yeah, hopefully they do sell drinks there. But other than that, I think this little hut over there definitely sells drinks. Let's see. Oh, oh wow. There are starfish indeed here. A lot, actually. 
Oh, have I seen starfish before in the wild? I'm not 100% sure. Maybe on some snorkeling trips. But wow, there are a lot of them. Oh, I'm getting excited now. The ride to get here was worth it, I think. But first, yeah, I'm so thirsty. Let me get a drink first and then we hop into the water and have a closer look. I see drinks right here. Hello. Uh, do you have cool drinks? Uh, seven up, Yeah. but cold with ice. Uh, you have this one with no sugar. Um. Oh, now I'm getting the one that is not cold. So what's better, a cold drink with sugar? Or a sugar, uh, sugarless drink, but it's not cold. Okay, how much? Uh. Yeah, let's see. 15,000, okay. You have um, ice cubes? Yeah. That's uh, how we're going to solve this uh, problem. Hello, Sin Chao. What is this? Is it uh, snails? I think it's snails. Or is it stone? Oh, for, for eating? No. No, no, no. Barbecue. Oh. Oh, barbe you have to barbecue yeah, first. Oh, what is it? Um, uh, squid? Fish? No. Fish? No, no fish? No. No. I'm wondering what, what this is. Oh. Oh, I think she wants to, to show me on the, on the phone. First I thought it's snails. Oh, maybe it is snails. Ah, you have Google Translate here, yeah, that's helpful. Koin Mai. Yeah, Koin Mai. Morning Whistle. Yeah. Not sure what that is, Morning Whistle. Okay, it's delicious. Barbecue and then eat. Ah, okay, you need to put it on the grill first, okay. Okay, I will put it over there. Ah, she wants to show me more. Grilled apricot whistle is very delicious. Ah, okay, okay, sounds good. <laughs> Not sure if the translation was 100% on point, but it's something uh, from the sea. Okay. Okay, so I'm actually not sure now if it would be good to go into the water and yeah, kind of disturb the, the starfish here. Um, I can imagine that it's probably not good and also not good to touch them. So I think I will rather have a look at them from here. Maybe let me film with my phone so I can zoom in to the, to the fish. Okay, switch to my phone now so I can put the camera here. So now I'm able to zoom a little bit so we can have a look at the fish. And actually they, they look like they are dead, right? Because they are not moving at all. But I'm pretty sure that all of these are not just lying around here dead. They are well alive, I would guess. But your yeah, starfish are not known to, uh, to move around a lot. So that's kind of normal for them to just lie around relaxing here. But yeah, it's really incredible how, how many of them are here. Like as far as my eye can see, they are all over the, the beach here. And also on the other side, if we have a look around here, there are many, many more here. Right here. Just chilling here in the water. Definitely interesting to see. Especially because it's uh, yeah, you don't have to take a boat out and go on a snorkeling trip You can just see them here like a few meters in front of the of the beach oh, Are you Thai? Yes Oh, uh, oh hello I you know Because I hear you say Swai Swai <laughs> Oh, that means beautiful in Thai Yes oh, I lived in Thailand for mm. over one year Wow So I speak Thai Noi. Oh, uh, in Bangkok? Yeah, Bangkok and all around Thailand Many places. Oh, yeah. oh. You're here for holiday? Yes, yes, yes. Oh. for five days. Five days? You are from, from Bangkok? Yeah. yeah. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm north of Thailand. North of Thailand? Yes, near Pisanulo. Oh, I don't remember that name. Three hours from Chiang Mai. Ah, Chiang Mai, ah. Yes. Oh, it's also very Swai Mak. Yes. In the mountains? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. I love it too. Oh. Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai is nice, yeah. Yes. Oh. 
Okay, um, then enjoy your day. Sabai, mm, sabai. <laughs> it's very fun here. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, cup, cup, cup. Thank you. <laughs> oh, he's driving with a motorbike here. Oh, is that a good idea? Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, I think it's not, not a problem. Yeah, welcome to Vietnam, where I drive motorbikes literally everywhere. <laughs> really beautiful place here. So I would say the off-road experience to get here <laughs> was really worth it. But um, yeah, regarding the food situation, I decided now I won't have food here because it's yeah, five o'clock now and I would like to um, get back to my hotel before it's getting too dark and I reckon it will be at least an hour to get back to my hotel. So yeah, but somehow it would be nice to, to also see the sunset here, right? But if I stay here for sunset, that means I would have to drive the whole way back in dark. And with this road condition, I don't think that is a very good idea. And yeah, I don't understand that. Why are people throwing their empty cans here on the beach? Don't understand that. If you are at a beach like this, don't do this. Actually, you know what? Let me take the can. Um, yeah, oh, even something inside. Still, okay. Ah. Let's see if we can uh, throw it somewhere. Oh, the beach is incredible. The sand quality is awesome. Actually, I should put off my shoes to walk here. Oh. What a place! Hello, Saint Chao. Yeah. You have a bin? Here. Just here? Yeah. That's okay. Okay. Do you have smoothie here? Sorry. Do you have smoothie? Yeah. Just oh. mango, avocado, and banana. Just mango. Uh, Sorry. Oh, yeah. Ah, here. Oh yeah. Um, can I can I uh, get a mango and banana yeah. mixed together? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then no sugar. No sugar. No, no milk. And milk is okay. Oh. But no sugar, please. Oh, then actually let's get a smoothie here. So I actually get something in my stomach rather than just a 7-up I just had. 50,000 for a smoothie. So that's uh, around 2 US dollar. For a beach or for price at the beach, I think that's actually quite okay. Oh, that looks also interesting here. Some uh, some she seashells. Hmm. Pretty uh, picturesque here as well. You want to take some beautiful pictures? This is an uh, an awesome place to do it as well. Today water not clean. Normally the water is more clean. Yes. Ah, as you just said, it's not clean today. Oh, but it's very hard to get here. I drove one hour on the very difficult road, like GGG, like this. <laughs> very difficult to to reach this place. Oh, that looks very good. Thank you very much. Oh, I should have went for a smoothie right away instead of getting the, the seven up. Much, much better. Fresh food shake here. Oh, actually, what's good about this menu here, I can learn the, the local words for the fruits. So, banana is chu oi. Chu oi. Coconut is dua. How do you pronounce banana? Chu oi. Chu oi. Chu oi. Banana. And dua. Coconut? Your. 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 Ah, oh, have to learn how to pronounce the 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 different letters here. Shui. And avocado is just bo. I think bo also means beef to be. Be. It's the same like like beef. But the, the writing is the same, right? Writing? Like how do you say beef? Bo. And this is bo. Oh, okay. So the pronunciation is a little bit different, although the writing is uh, almost the same. Just with this little, I don't know how to call this, the little piece here on the O, that is different on the word for beef, I think. So you pronounce it differently. So we have to leave this beautiful place now because um, yeah, I would like to get back to the main road at least before it's dark. 
And yeah, I don't have to ride back the same way that I came from, so it's not gonna be an hour again. So I basically, like, I came from this direction and now I'm going left to this direction. And I just checked on Google Maps, it's uh, only 25 minutes back to the main road. So I hope I can make it before it's too dark. And then it's gonna be like an hour almost uh, back to my hotel. Okay, so this is the road where I'm coming from that took over an hour. And now I'm taking this road, which according to Google Maps only takes around 25 minutes to reach the main road again. So it should be a little bit quicker. But yeah, the condition is uh, kind of the same. But okay. And I made it back to a proper road and the sun is setting in the background. And yeah, if you end up on this island as well and you want to visit this beach as well, I highly recommend coming from this side because yeah, the road here was better and it was yeah, much shorter on the off the beaten path road compared to the route that I took. So I basically came from the northwest and now I am basically at the northeastern part of the island. So definitely uh, take this route rather than the other one and wow this uh, looks quite beautiful over there right sunset but yeah i am happy that i made it back to the main road before the sun has set and now yeah next stop let's see if we can find some food okay i made a decision now this is the quickest way back to my hotel but i think the sunset can look amazing today so this is the way back to the uh, west coast where the sunset is happening so I think, I hope, I will make it back to the west coast to see the sunset. Okay, this is what riding here looks at the moment. There's some Vietnamese music over there. And then the sun over there. Wow, this looks really incredible, right? Wow, what a nice ride. Oh, hello, little doggy. <laughs> hello. Looks very nice. Very beautiful here. Oh. Wow, it's absolutely beautiful to, uh, to ride this road at the moment. Wow, and there's some fire going on. Probably people burning their, their rubbish here. Yeah, I don't think we will reach the beach in time. But uh, also this view is really, really nice here. Oh, I love it. Where is the beach? I think I need to turn into one of these side alleys here to reach the beach. Hello, in okay. Oh no, oh. oh, I think we came right in time. Okay, so there is a beach here, and actually I think I am the only person here. Ah. Oh no, there's some, some locals having a picnic over there. Oh, and somebody is in the water with his child. Oh, this is beautiful, isn't it? And we do have a proper sun over there. Oh. Oh, I rushed to the beach. Whew. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know why, but uh, seeing sunsets always makes me uh, very happy. So I'm really happy that I made it here in time and that I decided to uh, drive back to the beach rather than taking the quicker route back to my hotel. Okay, so the sunset side quest mission successfully finished. Now the next mission is uh, to really find some food. I'm really, really starving. Haven't had proper food since breakfast. Okay, I think I found a restaurant. Okay, so I see different delicious looking uh, meals over there. And you remember earlier when I said the word for beef is O, B-O? That's the word that I meant. Looks similar like the, the word that we saw earlier, which I think was for coconut. But here you see there's a different line on top of the O. Actually, that dish looks pretty pretty good. Not sure what it is. But yeah, let's have a look what we can get here. 
Oh yeah, there are actually quite a few dishes that look really good. Um, I also learned the word for chicken already, which is uh, ga, G-A. Not sure how to pronounce it, but here, ga, that is the word for chicken. Nui chao bo. Yeah, one. Okay. Not sure how to pronounce it. Nui chao bo. Looks like a noodles with beef. Uh, eat here, eat here. Okay. Oh, I think we can get water here. This is probably water. Well, actually, I think it's uh, tea. No, maybe it's just water. Um, let me try it. Oh, there's an ant in there. <laughs> can you see it? I'm trying to uh, not drink the ant. No, oh, there's, uh, there's flavor to it. Actually, it's uh, the same as you remember my first impressions video, uh, my first video from Vietnam, where I was sitting uh, at a roadside stall and the lady offered me some, some drinks. That was the same. Ah, but yeah, I have to uh, avoid the end in there. <laughs> Hope the place is clean, clean enough to eat. There's an end in the water already. All right, the mean has arrived. Um, get some chopsticks. Oh, it looks actually very good. And they put a lot of pepper on it. Oh, I can really smell the, the pepper here. But that's okay, I usually really like pepper. And yeah, let's see what's inside here. When I have my chopsticks ready, okay. So we have uh, greens, which is nice. We have some delicious looking pieces of beef and these noodles actually these noodles look like uh, like Italian noodles like uh, macaroni it's not really uh, something I would expect to see here in Vietnam but let's try a little bit chewy let's see if the beef is better oh I really love the, the pepper flavor to it maybe I should stir it a little bit more what I really love about the food in Vietnam so far is that it's always with greens uh, on the side, with vegetables. It's relatively easy to uh, eat healthy in Vietnam if you want to. Also, to be honest, I haven't seen a single McDonald's or Burger King so far, other than at the airport. Nothing super special now, but pretty decent. And I think uh, it's going to be like a local price here. They are definitely not shy with the, with the pepper here. There was a lot of pepper in there, which I am okay with. But if you're not a fan of pepper, then this would have been too much probably. And I also uh, successfully avoided the, the ant in the water. So let's see how much this is going to cost. How much you get? Huh? 15? Okay. Yeah, in the next episode we are going to explore the southern coast of the island. And if you haven't seen the previous video where I was still in Ho Chi Minh City, then check it out right here. Stay healthy, stay positive and then see you on the next episode. Ciao guys!